and delusion. Uh, and, and, and you can fit just about any problem you have into that category, but I think the, the modern Theravada, the, the late 20th, mid and late 20th century Theravada, has done us a service by putting this emphasis on fear, particularly as, I mean to say, the life's harder. You know, you may know the work, the book Freakonomics that uh, about 10 years, eight years ago, and addressed this question. Everybody says, why, is, why are modern times so violent? And then the response, are they? And they point out that in uh, 15th century Florence, Italy, that one by being murdered. So things are a lot more violent in 15th century Florence than they are in uh, 21st century Oakland or wherever you want to name, you know. Uh, poison. It's always a mistake to be compulsively desirous of something, to be obsessed with something. It's always a mistake to hate another living being. That's always a mistake. It's not always a mistake to be fear, to be frightened. You know, it is, if you're driving a car on the freeway, it's good to be frightened. It can freeze us up. And so this is something, by looking at Theravada, I see something that was never raised to my attention as a Mahayana Buddhist. And it's a good point that they have. And also, it's just good to get outside your comfort level sometimes, because otherwise you get too... You get pretentious. It's hard to be... It's very hard to be pretentious about Buddhism if you really study it, because it's bad. Matsudaira and I chanted the Sambu Jo as the Dalai Lama came onto the stage to speak about uh, 10 years ago. And uh, in his typically charming way, him, oh, I want to thank the Japanese Buddhists for their chanting, although I don't know what they were saying. <laughs> and I think, really? Bu Jo Mida Nyorai? You don't know what that means? He's not listening. He doesn't know what that means because he's not. He should know what that means. He really should. That one should not be a problem for him. But, you know, uh, or the third one, you know, Jeep, Bu Jo, Jeep, you know, the, the ten directions, the Buddhists of the ten directions, uh, he wouldn't know that. And uh, um, don't ask me about the difference between Satantrika and Mahayana. That's something that only Tibetan Buddhists study, and it is.